Have you ever gone down a slide after a child has shit themselves? <laughs> Just start, start the episode like, um, what's that show? Not Ripley's Believe It or Not. Uh, Beyond Belief. Have you ever gone swimming? Have you ever stuck your finger up your own ass and sniffed it? Have you ever scratched your balls too hard and got testicular torsion? <laughs> Have you ever fucked a bear in the middle of the woods and then the bear followed you home and you never you <laughs> fell in love? Have you ever written down what you wanted to tweet? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever looked at that note later and decided it was a good idea to not tweet that? Have you ever forgotten about your drafts? Have you ever listened to a podcast called Brain Leak and it's episode 24 or something like that? <laughs> something like that. Who, who fucking knows where we are in space and time? It's all relative. It is all relative. This could be the last episode, the first episode, everything in between, all at the same time. Oh, we should totally do that where we say something now that makes no sense. And then in a future episode, it's a whole topic. And then people are like, time travelers. But how? How did they do but that? How do we do but how do we do that? You need to write your ending first and then reverse engineer it. Mm hmm And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> how it did all they, makes sense. How did they know? How did they know? <laughs> Just something. Welcome back, everyone, to Welcome. the Brain Lake Podcast. Hope you're all leaking, laughing, loving. We really do need to make some of those like like reclaimed wood signs that say, yeah. that say leak, laugh, love. I saw a really good one on the episode that went up, the one that just went up, which said the early bird gets the leak. And I, I like that. <laughs> it's like you say, take any ism and just put leak into it somehow. <laughs> Bless this leak. <laughs> leak this house. <laughs> Leak this house. We should just have a whole home decor line. And stuff. <laughs> no one, no YouTuber, I don't think has done that. It's so no. perfect. Home decor, cheesy home decor, home goods ass stuff. We'll do it. I want that stuff to hang up like like puka shells in your fucking bathroom. Yes. And then it this says, "Perfect." God bless this leak, which makes sense in the bathroom. Yes, God bless my leak. My leak. We'll, we'll figure it all out, ladies and gentlemen. And don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. You ever start a podcast and realize your pit smell? You ever start a podcast and realize that you have nothing to talk about? <laughs> 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 yeah. Whenever that silence kicks in between topic, I'm like, how do we drag this joke out? How do we, how do we just keep the joke rolling? Okay, think about something funny. What did he just say? I forget because my ADHD is just not letting me think. I don't remember, but oh man, huge news though. I got back on my ADHD meds this week. Maybe you wouldn't know, but why I you, did. Why were you off them? Okay, let me go down a little bit of a rabbit hole for you. I'll tell you why I was off them. That's why I, it's why I asked. <laughs> good, good, good. I'll tell you why. I think I should start using. I just took them, by the way, so they haven't kicked in yet. But I think I. Are you sure? <laughs> I want. <laughs> I want to start. I want to stop using a a microphone that's on a boom arm, and I want to just start going handheld. So then I can, I can walk around the room and talk about what I need to say because I feel like I talk better when I move. Okay. Usually with ADHD people, you need to like move around and do things and not pay attention because you're not into the topic you're talking about. I guess so, but I'd <laughs> like to move anyway. Like, if I'm on the phone with somebody, I move around. Same. I, I do, do that. I track. I do that, too. And then every time uh -huh. I do it, I'm like, oh, here comes the part where my toes are going to feel weird or something like that. <laughs> and I'm like, this is the part. <laughs> it's like the part of the carpet where I'm going to step on it weird. <laughs> that would be so good. You're on a phone call, and there's it's like Evelyn next to you with a clipboard, and she's telling you the turns like you're in like a rally car. You know? <laughs> Sammy, Tight, listen, three. Sammy, <laughs> listen to me. You are breaking the car, Sammy. <laughs> it's so funny. I love that video. <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, I... Bring it on back. I should be on my ADHD meds. And I called the doctor's office so many times because I was running low. I wasn't mm. out yet. I was running low. Yeah. And so I called the doctor's office and I said, hello, doctor's office. I need a refill of this prescription because my ADD meds, they don't do 
uh, refills. You have to call the doctor's office for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Because it's meth. You have to. I guess so. Yeah. You have to call the doctor's office and then they go, okay, yeah, we'll refill your meds. So I call a couple weeks beforehand, like a, a week and a half, maybe two weeks before mm-hmm. I'm running out. And I'm like, I need a refill. They go, okay, we'll let the doctor know. And then I don't get anything from my pharmacy. <laughs> I try and refill and they're like, you don't have any refills. And then they call the doctor. The pharmacy calls the doctor. Okay. And they say, okay, yeah, we'll get the refill. This goes on. For three months. For three months. For three months I'm doing this. For three months I'm doing this. For three months Jocelyn is doing this. She's calling the doctor. And then I finally get a call because this entire time I'm talking to like the receptionist at Mm. the doctor's office. I finally get a call from my doctor. My doctor is on the phone, not the receptionist. My doctor's on the phone. He's like, you need a refill of your meds. And I was like, yes, I do. And he goes, it seems like the last time we refilled this was about three months ago. Why haven't you been taking your meds? (laughs) He goes, he says, with this kind of medication, you should be taking it all the time. You really shouldn't stop at cold turkey. Oh, no (laughs) kidding, huh? And I I told him, I was like, I've been trying to get a refill. I've been calling a few times a week to try and get a refill, and it's never been refilled. And he goes, oh, that's weird. Sorry about that. Uh-huh. Yeah, thanks. Sounds like he needs ADHD meds. I know. It made me so mad. Wait, so it today is the first so- time you took them again? No. Uh, I've been on them now for like a week or so. Ah, uh, I see. Because um, that would have been real just, fun to see that bell curve. <laughs> just the poof. Well, it was funny because the first day that I took them, I was cleaning out my closet. And Jocelyn came in. For context, for those of you who don't know, uh, Jocelyn uh, and I work together. She's like my creative producer. She started off as my assistant. Now she's helping me make videos. Anyway, she came into my closet and I was doing stuff. And she was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, why? And she was like, you just don't, you don't seem like you. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, oh, this is just the first day that I'm on my ADD meds. Um, It's just not him anymore. He's just not there. (laughs) <laughs> Did, have I told that story? I don't know if you told it on the cast. <laughs> my uh, my best friend growing up, Andrew Harrington, he's the one that I started my channel with, actually. Uh, I <laughs> I started ADHD meds when I was in, like, seventh grade, and I was very over-medicated. Um, because especially back then, they just kind of gave you whatever. And as long as your grades were better, then that's all that mattered. <laughs> but I just kind of turned into a zombie, and he he told me this story where his mom picked him up from my house and she was like, Oh, how is how is your play date with Ethan? And he like he literally had a tear drip down his face and he goes, It's just not him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he came back from the war. It's so funny. It's like I mean, it's so- he was in Nam, it's just not him anymore. It's just it's just not him. Glaze over. Every once in a while, I get a glimpse. I get a glimpse of who he was. But <laughs> he's in there. <laughs> he's in Ethan, I walk, know he's in there somewhere. Walk to the light, Ethan. <laughs> uh, I wish anyway. ADHD meds worked for me. Every time I take them, I get super anxious. My heart beats like fucking crazy. And then mm. I just start getting paranoid and weird. And like, I just don't like it. It makes me twitchy. Now, nah, here's the question. Is, one, you could take a lower dose, maybe. Unless you're on the lowest dose. I was on the lowest dose, and then we doubled it, and then went up again, and then I was like, I don't like any of these. Hmm. Um, and then I tried different meds, and it was the same thing. How long are you on them? I was what on one do? for like three, four months. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. Because if you go get, off of them, them, and then you go shot. on. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah, and then I was like, I'll try these other ones, and then I started taking them, and after, like, two weeks, I was like, I can't, man. It's just making me anxious. It's making me, like, jittery. It's making me want to, like, kill someone. Have you tried just going for a walk? <laughs> Have you tried smiling? <laughs> Have you ever woken up and tried smiling? Have you ever tried not being depressed? Have you ever tried ending it all? <laughs> Have you ever tried just giving up on all of it and just playing PlayStation all day? <laughs> Sean, I had this this horrible nightmare last night that that I got a cat and I got 
the wrong kind of litter, and there was poop and pee everywhere, and there were smells of all shapes and sizes, and I, I couldn't keep track of my cat's health, and I couldn't find out just through their litter if they had UTIs or kidney issues. It was terrible! All the sounds of all shapes? Is that what I said? <laughs> Man, that does sound like a nightmare, but if you had pretty litter, it would have been a dream instead of a, a bad nightmare. <laughs> pretty litter? Well, that sounds wonderful. Is it ultra-absorbent crystals that trap odor instantly so there's no more cat bathroom smell kind of litter? Yeah, it's pretty litter, super light crystal base, minimizes mess and dust, and the crystals last up to a month, which means less scooping and fewer trips to the garbage can. Oh man, the coolest thing about it, I bet, is that it changes colors to monitor early signs of potential illnesses in your cats. Yep, UTIs. Kidney issues, okay. the ones you said earlier. Yeah, good segue. Yeah. But I know what you're thinking. You're going to want to pee in it yourself just to f for fun. Don't do that. Don't. Why not? Don't. It's, don't. don't free ask, country. Don't ask about it. It's not a free country. It's a very, very expensive country. This is true. Pretty Litter helps keep tabs on my cat's health and keeps odors down. You and your cat are going to love Pretty Litter as much as we do. Oh, yeah, go to prettylitter.com slash leak and use code L-E-A-K to save 20% on your first order. See, we've thought about it. It's fun because it's Pretty Litter. It's about cat pee. The code is leak. Prettylitter.com. It all comes together. Uh, terms and conditions apply. See site for details. What is it? Is his name Jonathan Frakes? Jonathan. Yeah. Jonathan Frakes. Oh, we should have him on the pod. Is he still alive? Let's find uh, yeah. out. Yeah. He's Did you ever Google alive. a name and figure out they're dead? <laughs> He's still alive, right? Uh-huh. He's 71 years old. Oh, in his prime. In his prime. Beyond belief. Fact or fiction. We should have him on. Yeah. We absolutely have him and on. And the only thing you can ask him are questions like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ever... We don't even let him answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done podcasts before? Have you ever been asked a question? Have you ever shit yourself? He'd be the perfect guest. He would. He'd be the perfect guest. He, oh my God, he could have a thriving career as a YouTube title maker. Mm. You just go to him with like, yeah, I'm making a video with a dog. And then he just spits out a title. He's, he's yeah. like living AI. <laughs> <laughs> he's chat GPT. <laughs> he's living chat GPT. He is. Oh, I want to meet him. I'm sure he never gets asked those. To go on podcast? No, the questions. Oh, I can't tell if you're being facetious or not, because I, I would ask him only those. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I was being facetious. I was definitely being sarcastic. Those are the same thing. Are they? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. I could actually... Google it. Oh, I am. And I actually knew how to spell it. Treating serious issues with deliberately inappropriate humor. It's not really the That's same kinda, thing. Not it's really. similar ish. It's like, um, oh, big pet peeve of mine. When people yeah. use the word irony for coincidence. I oh. hate that. So it's. So it's like. It's like. I can't think of an example. <laughs> <laughs> I can't either. It's like, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like, oh, I went outside and this thing happened. It's like, how ironic. And people are like, no, that's a coincidence that that happened. That's not irony. Do you ever have somebody pronounce a word wrong and it takes everything in your being to not correct them? because it's It takes everything in my being it. not to hit them. <laughs> <laughs> I think I I think I told this on the podcast already, but I went and visited my brother and my sister in law recently, mm -hmm. and my sister in law is from Mexico, um, and so there's a few words, there's a lot of words actually that she doesn't pronounce correctly, but I corrected her on one of them, and I heard my brother from the other room like yell uh, because <laughs> what did she say? Uh, oh, she said I'm a bit dehydrated, and I was like what? 
And she was like, you know, like, I'm really thirsty. And I was like, oh, dehydrated. And then from the other room, I just heard my brother just, no! And I was like, what? And he's like, I love that she says dehydrated. Don't correct her. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought you were, to keep I thought you were gonna say that your brother went like, thank you! Cause he was no, afraid dude. to say it to her. No, he was upset because he was like, don't tell her that that's the wrong word. I love that she says dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> dehydrated is cute. It's very good. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's different though, because if like English isn't your first language and then you mix words up, that's, you're just being racist. Um, <laughs> but it's different if it's like people who've grown up saying the words. I mean, it's. I guess it's different when people are saying, like, couldn't care less or could care less. That's uh -huh. my biggest one. Somebody saying, I could care less. It's like, okay, so you care a little bit. And then they're yeah. like, huh? And it's like, you don't understand what you're saying. No, Go you back to school, less. you fucking dumbass. One of my friends says uh, monochromatic Ugh. instead of monochromatic. Oh. And it takes everything in my being not to correct because it's like it's not worth that's it. That's just that's just fucking elbow to the temple for me. Not, or people let's say really like instead of saying supposedly, they say supposedly. Okay, here's a question that I have for you. Are we gonna Do find you out that you say a word wrong and I'm gonna have to hit you? No, no, no. It's just I don't I don't know if I'm using it. the term or the word regardless. When do you use it? <laughs> I mean, I know the word, but now I'm like, well, I can't. <laughs> now you put me on the spot. I'm like, what is a sentence with the word regardless in it? Yeah. Um, I'm going outside regardless of the weather. Yeah. Like if it's raining or snowing, like I have but, to go outside regardless. But sometimes, but sometimes you use it as like a transitional word. Right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean, kinda. You, you're now you're gonna have to give examples. Oh man. Because okay. I feel like you're okay. not using it right. <laughs> so it's like, so it's like, okay, 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 okay. So, <laughs> fuck. I can't think of anything. I know. This is the fucking. I don't I, know. I couldn't even think about how to use it properly. I should get a, th a thesaurus. A thesaurus. <laughs> you should get a fucking <laughs> a tongue. You get a better brain. Regardless Historic. is defined as despite or not being affected by something. Okay. So, in spite of everything, with with without regard to drawbacks. So okay. uh, you can't just be like, let's do this thing. Regardless, I'm going over here. Like <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I think maybe that's how I've been using it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same as being like. We should go to the movies. Thereafter, how are you feeling? <laughs> oh, my wife was looking regardless today. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at her regardlessly. <laughs> she had regardless beauty. <laughs> her breast juggled regardlessly in front of my mouth. That one could actually work though. If they're yeah. like taped down or they're like they're like bound in some way and then they're flailing regardless. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, I love I love that that's where the sentence went. I love the way you paint a picture for me. <laughs> I love the way you regardlessly speak. <laughs> I love the way you speak without regard for knowing what words mean. <laughs> that is how my brain works. I'm well aware. I think there's probably no other person on the planet, but there's very few people on the planet that get how your inner workings work. I'm um, one of them. The, the, <laughs> it's like that SpongeBob uh, episode. It perfect perfectly encapsulates my brain, mm. where <laughs> Patrick goes, "The inner machinations of my mind <laughs> are an enigma." <laughs> and then the milk falls over. <laughs> Oh my god, that is you. I, it's so good. I, I, I keep thinking back to when we watched Barbie in the cinema. And yeah. everyone was laughing at all the jokes. It was all going well. And then there was one time where Ken just did a thing where he just, like, gestured. No one <laughs> laughed except you. But it was, like, a really high-pitched laugh in the middle of everything. And then it made me laugh. <laughs> and the thing is, I knew exactly where your brain was. I knew why that yeah. made you laugh. 
Yeah, it was just good. It was good old fashioned. There's humor. just monkeys banging coconuts in there. It's so good. It's so good. On my TikTok for you page the other day, a uh, similar to the milk, it was just no music. It was just a piece of white bread standing up, and then it fell over. <laughs> oh, like, I love those ones where it's like, <laughs> my hope will never die. And then, <laughs> boo, 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 boo. So and it goes funny. fucking nuts. And like, hell yeah. Or like the to toilet seat is like slowly falling on one of those dampers. Oh. That is one of my simple pleasures in life. I always to close the toilet. I always close the toilet. And well done. Thank you. The medal's in the I, mail. I know. Um, but one of the reasons, most of the reason, is because I like watching it slowly close. Mm. Do you ever then suddenly go to some other place that doesn't have dampeners <laughs> and you just go, <laughs> boom! <laughs> <laughs> or like a public restroom, you're just in there and then suddenly it's like Ding! and it's like I hope no one heard that. It's like God in heaven heard that. Uh, similarly, uh I do that at my dad's house a lot because my cabinets in my kitchen have like the soft clothes thing mm. and my dad's in his kitchen does not. So I'll go home and just fucking <laughs> slam <laughs> cabinets by accident. <laughs> Why doesn't he have dampers? There's everything comes with dampers. He's a fucking make some. Put some tissue paper in the, the hinges. He does, and I, my dad listens to the podcast. So, Dad, if hey, you're listening, what up? What up, Mark Nestor? How's it going, Dad? Yeah. Um, Did you know that your son has done uh, speedball? <laughs> That's, I don't what? know. I don't know drug <laughs> names. <laughs> Concoction of like heroin, speed cocaine. Ball. Isn't a speedball like a drug thing? I don't know. Probably. Speedball. Eight ball? Is that what you're thinking of? What is a speedball? Heroin and cocaine drug cocktail. Whoa! You got it right. I did. And I've never fucking. I've never taken a drug. <laughs> Harry? What are you doing down here? Oh, I agree. I'm trying to shave my face, but I don't have any good razors. I keep, I keep getting little cuts and stuff on my thing. I'll be using this razor for for eight times, but it's so dull. <laughs> well, Harry, you should use your namesake. It's called Harry's. Also, you're eleven. <laughs> What is that? Is that the is that the is that the shaving company where you can get a thirteen dollar starter set for just three dollars at Aries.com slash brain? Yeah, five blade, German engineered razor. I've dropped the accent, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, travel cover, scheduled delivery for refills as low as two dollars, half off, half of what you pay for other blades. It's so cheap, it's so good, it shaves your face beautifully. It's almost like you said a Vaticadaver. To the hair on your face. I'm gonna keep the accent. <laughs> I don't have to be afraid about wasting my money because Harry says a no-risk trial. If I don't like my shave, I've got no worries. It's on them. <laughs> it's on them it is. <laughs> you can get creams, washes, lotions that'll keep your skin healthy and hydrated, sleek ergonomic candles. It's all good, Harry. He's back, my friend Hagrid's back. <laughs> I don't know who that other man was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing me to Aries.com slash brain for the free free dollar start starter set. Yeah, get your best shave ever this summer with Aries razors and skincare products. It's a great deal. That's Aries.com slash brain for a three dollar starter set. My parents would have loved this if they were alive. <laughs> <laughs> but they did. But my father, he's a real good handy man. He Real sure is. good handyman. I, uh, every time he comes to visit, I have little projects for him. And I'm going to have a project. He's going to come and visit me soon. And I have a little project for him because Spencer over here keeps going under the porch and mm. rolling around in dirt. So I'm going to have him uh, make a little like fence thing under yeah. the porch put so he can't fucking, get it. Put some like tree debarker blades in there. Spencer, Spencer, barbed wire. Spencer goes in, he comes back out, bloodied, no fur. <laughs> like a fucking naked mole. Oh, I wonder what Spencer would look like without fur. It's like, yeah, you won't do that again, will you, bitch? No, you won't. Uh, but my dad rents the place that he's living at. And it's a mm. house. And he has done so much home improvement 
to that place because he's lived there for almost 10 years now and he just wants to make the place that he's living in better. But he's renting it. Uh, but he has done so much. Like, he completely, like, re-landscaped the backyard. I went back in uh, in August. In August? Yeah, in August. He had built a fence. Uh, <laughs> again, he doesn't own the house. And sometimes he'll he'll check in with his landlords and be like, hey, I want to do this thing. If you buy the materials, I'll do it. And yeah. they're just like, yeah, it'll make the house better and increase the value. Sure. But sometimes he doesn't do that. Like, he completely re- redid the bathroom. Uh, and he just did it because he's like, I want a new I want a new bathroom. He does so much <sighs> stuff. I've never... Well, I guess I did know people growing up like that who's like, I want a new bathroom, so I'm going to do the bathroom. I'm like, that's the one room in my house that I would not touch myself. That's the one where it's like, any, any, any water leaks? That's just mold that fucks up your house. I don't know how to do shit. Do you know how to build things? Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> no! And my dad makes fun of me for it, but my dad never taught me how to build things. Well, my... I was too busy doing flips at gymnastics. My dad didn't teach me either. He didn't love me. <laughs> uh, how did you learn? I did shit in school, and then I just fucked around at home. Ah, uh, maybe that's where I went wrong. Because I didn't... I could have taken a shop class, mm. like a woodworking class, yeah. um, and I didn't. Instead, which this is pretty cool that my school offered this. Instead, I took a welding class, Ooh. and that was pretty sick. So a, I know it, how to. Both weld. are good trades. Yeah, I do wish you, I knew how to do stuff with wood more because that's more useful. Do you still know how to weld? Uh, if I was put on a welding machine, I could probably... Turn it on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could do some beads and stuff on it. Hmm. Um, and I would know, like, what to do at the start. Like, you gotta do a little tack guy before you start to do the mm. whole thing. <laughs> Everyone at um, home now is like, dude, fucking A. It was fun. You do some tank welding? Cool. Some tungsten? What, what's the... I can't remember what the rods are. What? Oh, I can't remember either. Car- I just know that you have, to do, carbide? you have to you have to do the tack welding first. So you just do little tiny little like little like on each corner or whatever to just secure it and then you do all the beads where you mm. go ee, ee, ee. It's pretty cool. That is pretty, pretty cool. Sweet. Yeah, um, I did um I did mo- woodwork and metalwork in school. Well, it was well, also was metalwork <clears throat> then. It was no welding because that's far more dangerous. It was more about like learning how to like cut sheets of metal and like file stuff down and like make things like that. We did a a, a smelting like forging project at one point where we had to make iron pokers for fires. That's sick. And I made one that was like, well, like we had to stick it in the, the oven and take it out and hammer it. And then they had to like twist it. So mine had like a, a curl on the top and then it had a twist and a point. And I was like, oh. this is like a fucking weapon. And I was we like, should do that for a brain leak video. Yeah. Go to a blacksmith. That would be awesome. Yeah. Fucking I'll buff up and wear a tank top and sparks will hit me. Yeah. And I'll go, ow. <laughs> we could just wear overalls. Yeah. Like, fucking gush, naked. Gush. Cock out. Uh, yeah. Balls on the forge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a heated sack. <laughs> Damn, dude. Who needs to shave their pubes? Just become a blacksmith and don't wear pants and then all your hair follicles will get burned off. Yeah. But I was I was one of those kids that just I never got taught anything. So I just like learned by watching others. Like it's it's a thing like, oh, I don't know how to change a tire. And I'm like, I know how to change a tire, but I no one taught me how to change a tire. My dad taught me how to change a tire. He didn't teach me any uh any like woodworky stuff or anything mm. like that, but he he taught me how to t- change a tire. He taught me he taught me recently how to change an outlet because I called him and I was like, I need to change out this outlet. That's scary. I, was like, I would never do electrical stuff. <laughs> he was like, you don't know how to do that. You're not. You should just figure it out. And I was like, I'm not gonna fuck around with electrical. Yeah. <laughs> like, <that's- laughs> Any, any of the ones that, that can, like, kill me, I'm not going to do that. Like, sure, a fucking saw can kill me, but, like, it has to get through the bone. <laughs> like, it has work to do. <laughs> it can't just be like, zap, you're dead. A I saw is a bit more obvious when it's going to kill you. you yeah, know? I don't like being a human circuit. Like, I don't want to complete no. that. I don't want to do its job for it. No. 
Um, but yeah, sawing and shit. I mean, I'm not good at joints anymore. I used to be good at like chiseling out joints and doing like dovetail joints and shit like that. And I can't remember the names of them anymore, but I can't do that off the cuff anymore. I could try, but it's a lot of like math and measuring and like getting angles right and like figuring out the angles of things. And I was like, oh, fuck that. Metal Gear Solid 4 just came mean. out. Shit on, shit on your man. fucking woodwork. Ethan, how many labs do you have? Too little, I wish I had more. You're gonna need more labs than that. <laughs> oh, our improv. It's all falling apart. <laughs> have you ever been out drinking with your friends and you're like, man, I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. This little noodle of mine is gonna feel like it got knocked around. Oh boy, have I. Too many times. I wish that there was something I could do about it. Oh, there is, Stink. You can just use More Lab's morning drink called Morning Recovery. Drink it as you're drinking or drink it before you go to bed. And then in the morning, you'll be able to think straight, tip top, to the barber shop you go. Uh, that's amazing. I love that. I almost slipped into a British accent again. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that it contains wonderful super herbs, vitamins, and minerals that help me bounce back in the morning. And it has a proprietary blend of electrolytes that'll help me be rehydrated so I don't wake up with the mouth that's super dry and I hate it. Yo, you read correctly, Ethan, off the thing that we have in front of us. Science for skeptics, they say. They con con conducted a clinical study and users of morning recovery felt up to 80% better than those without morning recovery across various symptoms after drinking. That's science. Those are statistics. Wow. And you can take it from me. I used one of these the other night. I This is a true story. I went out and I was like, I'm going to try this thing. And I drank it and I woke up the next morning and I was like, wow, I I don't feel nearly as bad as I would have. It was it was wonderful. I woke up feeling feeling fresh and new and, and pretty much normal. And I said, whoa. More labs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Go to morelabs.com and use code BRAIN for 25% off your first order of morning recovery. That's morelabs.com and use code BRAIN, B-R-A-I-N, for 25% off your first order of morning recovery. Oh, my school had a planer. Mm. And that thing was cool. You know about planers? You like shove the thing through and it skims yeah. it off. And it, and it makes it all perfectly level. It was so cool. Yeah. It was sick. It was dope. I want to get a planer for my house. Just for fun. Just for, like, what would you put through it? Plates. Wood. <laughs> Take, Wood. Rip the cabinets off your wall. <laughs> Just be like, yeah. Ah. Oh, it would be so cool. I can I, redo my whole kitchen myself. I do want to get tools because now that little BB has diabetes, he mm. his back legs don't work as good as they used to. That's what Ed Sheeran was singing about. When your legs don't work, uh, like they, he had diabetes probably. BB. I don't think we've said that on the podcast. Oh, little Bieber. Yeah, he got diabetes. We were looking at him one day and he was like he he stopped like coming upstairs and he stopped like doing zoomies and stuff and I was like something's off and then his back leg stopped working and he starts stumbling more I, th I feel like we did talk about it but anyway it turns out he has diabetes and we got him sent to the vet and got him checked out and now he got his first insulin shot today Ooh, how so was we have, that? How we have to go? like prick his ear to get his blood glucose and like do the test with the strip um, and then we have to like inject him right at the scruff of his neck. Um, do you just hold him mm. or did you have to get one of those weird cat cages? <laughs> no, we no, just hold him. About. You hold no, him. No, I'm talking about. Yeah, that seems cruel. <laughs> it's so weird. It the little cat cages that they have at the vet. It's like a cage, but one side can, can go in. Yeah. And, and so like you squishes just them. like pin them. Yeah. No, he's he's weird. super chill. He doesn't really react to any of the injections. Like he knows you're doing something, but he's also just like, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, but we got like that bench in our chill room where you can like sit at the window. He has a hard time like jumping up onto things now without having to like claw his way up. So his back mm -hmm. legs aren't as strong. So it's like, let's get him little steps. And we got him like yeah. little little steps that came in the mail today, but they're kind of like foam, and we thought they'd be more solid. Oh. So I think if he steps on it, he'll just hate it because it's too wobbly. So I was like, I could make steps. 
You could make a little staircase for him. And now I'm like, ooh, I need tools and wood. <laughs> oh, that, that, that really gets my fucking titties tingling. What are you going to make it out of? Oh, I don't actually know. <laughs> <laughs> like an MDF See, chipboard. That's the other <clears throat> thing is I don't know what kind of wood is is good for things. I have no idea. I just know that balsa wood is really flimsy because yeah. we had some breakaway wood uh, for a thing that we did the other day, and it was all made out of balsa. It was fun. Yeah. I mean, any, like, strong wood is good. It, I mean, you're making tiny steps for a five kilogram cat man. it's like it doesn't really matter but like yeah. a lot of it comes down to preference like walnut we really like because it just has a really nice dark look to it mm -hmm. um like mahogany oak not saying that you should monetize your hobbies but it would be a funny video to see you make steps for baby it would but here's my thing with doing anything like that online like it's the same with doing cooking where i'm like if i was to mm. cook for a video because i talk about cooking a lot and i like cooking but it would need to be a thing that i'm learning for the first time because if i'm cooking mm. something like like i cook lasagna and i like that but i guarantee you it's not how lasagna is made people are going to be very vocal <laughs> about how it's wrong i make lasagna but it's not how lasagna is made it's actually cereal and i put it in a bowl <laughs> with milk it has chicken and spaghetti in it and i just press it together lasagna mm -hmm. is just it's just a term it can be whatever you want it's a state of mind really yeah as long as it tastes like lasagna when i come over whenever that is uh will you make me lasagna i've never had yeah. your lasagna I mean, it's wow. it's not like a super special thing, but I like making yeah, it. I like making risotto, but I don't want to put that on the internet and then have people be like, you've been making it wrong this whole time. And I'm like, but I like the way I make things. Yeah. It's the same with woodworking. I don't want to do something and then people are like, ah, you should have used a four inch screw on that one. It would have held it together better. Yeah, you probably should have used a, a planer or dovetail joint on that part. It would have been, I was like, it's steps for a cat that doesn't even know he's alive. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Just don't give a fuck. See, I want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that doesn't give a fuck. But I, I do. Mm. And that's the problem. I'm too empathetic. I, I care too much about other people's happiness. Mm. And then when I do something well, that fucks it up, I, I'm like, I'm the problem. Mirror, What about hello. BB's happiness? Hmm? He just needs food. He'll be happy. He'll, fuck, he'll be he'll happy, happy anyway. He'll just yell at me until I pick him up. And then he's like, now I'm happy, thank you. But now he gets <laughs> I, he gets a super strict diet now and a super strict like routine. And now he knows when his food's coming and he gets very angry when it's not there. Do you have a little do you have a little bell? Little bell ring -a -ding -ding. No, he, he just knows by the phases of the moon outside what time it is. <laughs> he's too clever. Uh, speaking of my father, his dog Dexter. Mm. Uh, he is the most scheduled dog ever. And whenever the time changes, he goes insane because he oh. knows when five o'clock is. But then the time changes, and so he can't go off of the sun and the cycle of the stars. Yeah. Anymore. Fuck it. He should, Freaks out. he should bark at Congress and just tell them not to do daylight savings time anymore. It would be I so don't nice. Know why we do daylight savings? Why do we do it? For it's the so farmers. Stupid. The farmers want it. Why? I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't get it. I'm like, can't, because comparatively, the amount of people who do daylight savings versus the amount of people who are farmers within that, I feel like we're the majority. I feel like we should be allowed to dictate what happens. I just don't understand why it matters. Because it's getting more hours of sunlight and like changing that kind of shit around. I'm like, can't they just change when they wake up and when they do things? Yeah. It's just like, oh, it gets dark. Now it's darker at 4 p.m. Yeah, but it and gets it like it get gets darker at five, and it gets brighter earlier. So it's like trying to like change the time for them. I think. So I'm like, can't they just get up an hour earlier and an hour later instead of the whole rest of the world having to do it? Listen, I love farmers; they're very important. But I think that they can just fucking deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the time of the day. Why, why do, do we, we do it? Why do we do daylight savings? For people to enjoy fun. more sunlight. This change was also important for farm workers, for example, who use the extra hour of sunlight to work into the evening during harvest seasons. Look, times have changed, farm boy. You can just get with it now. It's all online. But uh, 
I don't understand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Farmers, can't can't they just wake up earlier an hour and then they have the extra hour and then? (sighs) Yeah, it doesn't matter what the number on the clock says. It's about where the sun is in the sky. Yeah, technically the crops are getting the same amount of sunlight regardless. They don't go indoors and go to bed. (laughs) They don't need to wake up early. They're still getting the same amount. We should have a farmer on the podcast to discuss daylight savings. Also, isn't harvest season just like August (laughs) and then that's it? It's like a specific time of the year. Why is daylight savings fucking up an entire year? I don't know. What about leap years? What the fuck is up with that? Why do we do that? I think that's because we don't spin a perfect amount. Like technically every four years we're off by a day, so we have to add an extra day so then the rest of the year makes sense. Sure. I think I think as we it's either as we go around the sun or as we turn or both that it's off by a tiny amount and every four years it's off by a full day, so we just add a day. Like, it makes sense, but also it's like, who fucking cares, you know? Yeah. Just lose the day and, like, keep going. No one's going to know. It's like, huh, 1st of January's awfully bright, isn't it? It's like that one day. (laughs) I think it's because after, like, a thousand years, you'd be way off. But it's like, does anyone really care? No. No one cares. Just, we should... I think somebody had a bit where they talked about adding like a whole extra month or something with the added days. And it was like, we all just get, or I can't remember. It's all fucked. Who cares? We're all going to die anyway. If you had to add a month, what would it be called and where would you add it? I think that this was what the bit was. It was adding the extra day to the end of the year or something. And it's like, that's the new year or something like that. I can't remember what the thing was. I would add a month, where would I add it? Mm. I'm trying to think seasonally or holiday wise or how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. I think I would probably add a month between December and January. No, Mm. maybe not because I like Christmas being the end of the year. This is a hard one, this is a tough question. Where would you add it? I think I would add it between November and December Mm. because between October and January, there's just far too many holidays. Back to back to back. There's that, too much going on. Well, for you, we don't do Thanksgiving, so. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Man, I was at the coffee shop earlier today, and I was using the public Wi-Fi, and, you know, I didn't, I didn't keep myself protected. And what do you know? All of my information, all of my identity, all of my passwords, all of my everything was... Snatched away by criminals and creeps of all shapes and sizes. <laughs> wow. That's L.A. for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was unfortunate, to say the least. You could have been so protected. You could have gone out there with NordVPN installed. Just one little boop. Oh, look at that. I'm in Asia. I'm in Europe. I'm anywhere oh. I want to be because they got servers all over the world, baby, and you're safe, protected, and you can browse the Internet all you want. Oh, that sounds incredible. But, man, using a VPN, that probably chugs down your speed quite a lot, doesn't it? No, stupid idiot, man. They have the fastest VPN. It's like you're not even using it. You just fly around, and you're zipping around the world. Fastest VPN in the world. What's that? Foom! NordVPN. Zipping past you. No buffering, no lagging. Ooh. That's incredible. That's incredible. But, you know... It must be pretty penny to get NordVPN nowadays, huh? Dwight, you ignorant slut. <laughs> <laughs> NordVPN is the price of a cup of coffee per month. Per month! Oh. Cup of coffee! Whoa. Cup of coffee in the big time! Whoa! You can get a NordVPN account and you use it up to six devices! That's not six just devices. one phone! One laptop, we all got more than that. You can get yeah, that's six phones phone. or laptops. Or both! Combined! That's crazy. That's insane. If Sean had uh, three phones and three laptops and all were connected to NordVPN and protected, how many devices would he have? So I divide by zero, and then you put the square root of that, and it's 
six. Yeah. All of them. And if you were All using, of them are protected. If you were using NordVPN anywhere in the world, the answer would have come faster to you than what you just did. <sighs> faster Man. than the human brain. Listen, I, I heard, speaking of the human brain, that if you wanted a big old discount off of NordVPN, you could just go to nordvpn.com slash brain. Yeah. And... I was I was gonna make a joke saying that the brain is big and capitalized because you'd be big brain to do that. Oh, they it, sure it wasn't would. worth interrupting you for that. No, it's okay. But with every purchase of the two year plan, you're gonna receive four bonus months for free. Four bonus months. Four. And there's a no risk nor thirty day money back guarantee. Four months. That's like half the year. Almost. So go to nordvpn.com slash brain. Use yours today. Do you guys have, a, like, an equivalent? No, we didn't. I, I, my people were horrible to people a long time ago. So. <laughs> the, Briti the British never did anything bad. <laughs> I'm not British. That's not my people. No, but I'm, I'm talking about in the UK. Oh, yeah. The British have done a lot of horrible shit. They... <laughs> It is surprising how they don't have more days dedicated the, to their- The British have never taken land that wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> They've never done that. Um, <laughs> it is crazy that they don't have more days dedicated to their tomfoolery from days of yore. Like you, well, maybe they do. I don't fucking know. I don't- I just go here. I don't- <laughs> I'm not from here. <laughs> <laughs> I just go here. I don't um, get it. No, I don't think we have anything like that. I think between Halloween, it's then Christmas. Mm -hmm. And thank Miss. And thank Miss Baby. Praise be. Praise be. Non-denominational. Without, without giving too much away, is, uh, is thank Miss being worked on? Yes. It's been worked on very heavily. And people are finding venues for it right now. And it's going to be different this year. Yeah. We're going to yes. have flamethrowers. And Barney the Dinosaur is going to come out. And do backflips. Really? Yeah, while well, Usain Is Bolt that a promise? jumps up and down in the corner. <laughs> That's not what he does normally. He usually No, Thankmas is pulling out all the stops. That's crazy. We're allowed to just dictate what people do. That's not Usain Bolt usually runs a straight line. He's yeah. doing zigzags this time. And I like, put that energy into up and downies. Go. Yeah, come on. Usain every dollar do raised vertically. is a jumping jack. <laughs> We raised ten million dollars last year. Get to work. Get to work, baby. I'm very excited for Thankmas this year. I'm It'll very, be good. Very um, It'll be great. I think I want to add an extra month between June and July, and I want to I want to keep that alliteration going because it's like we don't have any other months that come together. Because it's like March, April, May. We also we almost had March, May, and it would have been cool. And then we could have called it March, May Madness. That's oh, what it, we could have put a month after that and called it Madness, and it would have been great. But I think we need to stick something in between or before or after June, July, and keep the JJJ. Oh, man. Um, the name, though. The name. June, July, Jonkle. <laughs> June, July, August, <laughs> June, July, Junimo. No, that's from Stardew. <laughs> June, July, Jambo. Mmm. You see what I mean? You see how fun it is to say? Yeah, and it kind of sounds like a cool meal. Yeah, it's like, where are you going on your Jambo holidays? Oh, man, your Jambo holidays? Oh, yeah. my God. Where are you jamming out during Jambo this year? Dude, it writes itself. It does. It's the perfect, it's the perfect It's the perfect month. month. And that means we get like a little extra summer. The transition I, isn't as harsh. <laughs> I don't know who made the days. Who made them? Uh, John Day. Probably. Charlie Day. Oh, who the, who the fuck? Who invented the time? <laughs> who named the days? Oh, you're going to get a big. The Babylonians. Up. Oh, those fuckers. They could have had so much fun. There's not enough funny people in the world. There's yeah. not enough jokesters around. All the things the Babylonians did, and all I know from it is the whore of Babylon. That's the only phrase that I know with the term Babylon in it. Why didn't they do more? They could have made the days funnier. The Babylon Babylonians. 
They could have done everything they funnier. They have a great name. I know. They could have made it so silly, but they didn't. Why? Why? I it's hate so that. It's stupid. I hate, it's like, oh, we brought out threads. Oh, we're calling it replies and reposts. It's like you could have called it a thread, a sewing together. Like, so many fun names. Like, no, no, let him, let him sew. Let him quilt. <laughs> that, 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 uh, that platform died real quick. Yeah. Very fast. <gasps> we should talk about the rumors of Elon uh, like charging, charging for, Twitter. for Twitter. I hope it happens. I I saw that, and then I saw a tweet where he got community noted, and it said that he was just talking about changing the rates for the premium features, and it wasn't actually charging people for actual Twitter. But I heard that article still go around a lot, so I don't know what was true. I want him to har charge $100 a month for Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just fuck people over. I will say, I don't use it at all anymore and this is the first time it's stuck i mean i do i like tweet something but it's like i go i tweet and then i get off and that's it i don't i don't linger anymore and i don't know how that happened or why that switch flipped in my mind but i'm so happy it did i go on now I and i'm like switch to happen. why aren't nobody's talking about anything now that i've been away from it for a while i'm like you guys are just in the poisonous swamp and you don't realize you're yeah. in it i gotta get out of there get out of it get out pop the antidote Get out! I got it. What was the antidote for you? I don't know. What was it that 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 got your toes out of there? I realized how much it was affecting my emotions. That I go on it and then something that happens where I'm like... It just affects... It, it starts getting my brain to think about things a certain way. And that's so obvious and like the whole point of it. But I realized one day I woke up and I was like, I don't really like how it's making me feel about myself, about other things, about other people. I don't like that everything I know about people is through this. And then I just decided to delete it off my phone again and it just never came back. I never had the urge to go back on it. Damn, I should do that. That's what I did with Tumblr. I haven't yeah. gone on Tumblr in years at this point. That had the added benefit of Tumblr crashing and burning pretty quick. So no one was on Tumblr, but everyone's still on Twitter. I just, I just stopped caring. I just don't, nothing on it interests me. And I, I started to like ask myself, why am I actually checking it? And I didn't have an answer. And I think going to therapy a lot actually helped me because she was asking me those questions. And I was like, I don't know why I go on it. And I made up a bunch of excuses of like, well, it's nice to keep up with people. I'm like, I could just ask people what they're doing. <laughs> this is true and because I do kind of keep it because I'm like, what if somebody DMs me? Nobody DMs me. Yeah, that too. Like, I I do, I haven't deleted it because of that. Um, and like the Sidemen match that was happening, like it was good to get in touch with people that way. And that's how I got asked to be in it. So I need it for that stuff. But I don't check, I check like once every like three days. So now I'm like, someone could have DM'd me something urgent and I didn't see it. <laughs> but if it was something urgent, then they could probably contact you through other means. Probably. Yeah. You know? See, it makes Send sense when telegram. you say it out loud. Ethan, whenever I go to visit you, it's always way too hot. Mm. LA sun, radiation from space beaming down on me, and I'm always worried that I'm not drinking enough. So I always use liquid IV. I even use it here. Sometimes I'm like, man, I haven't been drinking enough. I need to zip open my package, pour that little sachet into my bottle, sip, sip, potato chip. Doesn't taste like potato chips. It tastes like yuzu pineapple or apple or my favorite grape. Ooh, you know, I've heard about liquid IV. It's a convenient little pouch. You just put it in your water, you shake it up and you're good to go. Not you know, only that, it's not food. just about hydration anymore. They've got like, like energy booster drinks. They've got nutrient drinks. It's got everything in it, baby. No sweeteners, zero sugar. Amino acid allulose blend? I don't even know what those words mean. Oh man, if you're going out and doing a bunch of exercise, not only is it gonna hydrate you two times faster than water alone, but it's got three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drinks, plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. That's, That's incredible. crazy. When you're sweating all over the place, you gotta replace that salt. Oh yeah, it's 
great stuff. And you know, Liquid IV is not doing good for your body, but they're doing good around the world. Liquid IV believes that equitable access to clean and abundant water is the foundation of a healthier world. So they're partnering with leading organizations to fund and foster innovative solutions to help communities protect both their water and their futures. Man. <laughs> If I were to read some statistics about that, it would probably say something like they've donated over 39 million servings in 50 plus countries around the world. I can't even name 50 countries. I can't even name two countries. We, we both live in a country. Real people, real <laughs> flavor, real hydrating, now sugar-free, grab your liquid IV. Do you like those oh. bars, homie? Oh, man, is that Kendrick that I'm hearing? Oh, k Dot. Oh, baby, if I wanted to go and get some liquid IV, all I'd have to go to is liquidiv.com and use code LEAK at checkout. And you get 20% off anything you order when you use that promo code. Promo code LEAK. 20% off anything. When you're sweating and you're leaking and all those electrolytes are leaving you, use code LEAK to get those back in. <laughs> liquid IV, baby, right in your mouth, straight to your brain. You're going to shake it up, you're going to drink it, you're going to sip it, you go, ah, feel hydrated. Ready to roll. Okay. <laughs> it is funny seeing people say, I hope Twitter crashes and burns, and I think we said it as well. It's like, I hope it crashes and burns so we can get away from it. Like, you couldn't just do that. And I think that it was saying that kind of stuff and being like, yeah, I, I don't care. I think the fact that they changed to a For You page as well, and that was the first thing I saw, and I was getting so many things that I didn't care about. I was like, that was that was it. It, like, brute forced me off its own platform. The algorithm did the opposite effect. <laughs> it shooed you away. Shooed you away. But I also, I don't really, like, go on TikTok or anything anymore either. I don't know what happened. I, I think I grew up. <laughs> I think I... A lot of other stuff has been, like, falling into place in my life and, like, a lot of the toxicity in my life is starting to, like, dwindle away and I'm, like, I'm, like, finally setting up, like, boundaries in good places. Mm -hmm. And now I'm, like, I don't care about this other stuff anymore. Instead of going on Twitter, you're you're painting minifigs and stuff. Yeah! What's it like having a hobby? It's so... I think that's what fucked up my neck. <laughs> 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 I think... I talked to my... I went to my osteopath about it. Um, it was, like, a chiropractor. But what is that? It's oh. like a chiropractor, but not pseudoscience. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. chiropractic medicine is not, like, agreed upon as an actual, like, science. Yeah. So it's like muscle work and, like, relieving muscle stuff around your back and your spine and neck. And So she was, like, working through a lot of that. And she was like, anything you think could have done it? Because I have this massive bruise on my arm from playing football that just will Jesus. not go away. Um. And she was like, maybe something got to do with that or playing the football. And I was like, that was a week ago, though. She was like, maybe not. I was like, I was painting miniatures for a long time. She was like, there you go. Because I'm like, there it is. I'm like this. <laughs> Crouched over. And sitting all day. Do you have a day. little setup? Do you have mm. a fun little setup with lights and stuff? No, I want it, though. I want that little room where my drum kit's in it. I want to, like, redecorate that to have, like, a little, like, spraying space and, like, have, like, ventilation and have a little, like, air spray, like, airbrush space. Yeah. And yeah. I did get like just, things for all my paints to go in. I'm like, I, they're on the floor right now. Just slot out a day for it. That's what I. That's what I did. I cleaned out my whole garage uh, recently. <gasps> you and did. I it. finally was. Yeah, I finally was just like, I'm doing it on Sunday, and then hmm. I did it, and I feel so great. Everything's all organized. Um, it's awesome. But you just got to pick a day and do it. That's true. I should do that. I. I think because I, I did the match and then I was like, okay, I'll get back to work. And then this shit happened and I was like, God damn it, I can't do anything. And then I was like, well, Lies of P came out and I can't move anyway, so I'll just sit and play that for a lot. And I was like, hey, maybe that's the problem. <laughs> maybe it's because I <laughs> sit for all my work and I'm just like arms forward all the time. So yeah, I need to take it a bit easier. I need to start stretching. I feel yeah. so tight all the time. See? I told you, once you hit 26, it's all downhill. I said those exact mm -hmm. words to you. I was like, the hill, the, the slope true. from 26 to 30 is strong. Mm -hmm. And then from 30 onwards, it's like, if you're not stretching all the time, you're fucked. And yep. I'm fucked right now because I don't take my own advice. I should, I should stretch more. My body just hurts. I was going to work out yesterday. 
And I was like, yeah, my like, I don't know what it's called, but you know, like the middle of your back, like right below your shoulder blades. Like your rhomboids, your traps. Sure. <laughs> uh, but it, there was just like a sharp pain. Mm. And my trainer was like, what did you do? And I was like, I just stood up fast. <laughs> it's happening. You're... I just stood up. <laughs> I have, I probably should get a scan. I have like a, a vertebra like lower down on my back between it's like almost halfway between where my shoulder blades end and like my tailbone is and if i like if i do this and if i turned around really quick right now i would be able to get like that sharp pain and then i'd be like yeah ooh, and mm -hmm. then i would like subside and i'm like i think it's just fluid bulging out hitting a nerve i did, I did the thing where i stood up and then i like couldn't breathe for a second and I was just like, <laughs> 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 yeah, like, probably, oh, no. it's probably like herniate, herniated discs on both of us. And I'm like, every time I go to the doctor about it, no one ever seems to be like, yeah, that's a problem. They just kind of like wash mm -hmm. it away and be like, yeah, if you do some like lifting or Pilates and stuff, it'll strengthen it. And I'm like, it hasn't though. This, this year I went and I had a physical and I felt like it wasn't intensive enough where they just like took my vitals and stuff and then blah, blah, blah. And I've, I felt like they didn't check enough because they're mm. like, yeah, you're all good. And I was like, yeah, you don't know that though. <laughs> did you get a, did you get a, a finger in your butt? No, that doesn't happen until 30, I think. Mm. Something like that. That's probably why I didn't feel prostate? full. Like a, a maybe <laughs> your prostate wasn't <laughs> didn't full. feel full. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I've gotten, I did a, well, I had to do it when I was getting ADHD meds to be like, is your blood okay? Can you take medication like that? Can you stimulate your prostate check no, 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 for no, no, ADHD no. meds? <laughs> yeah, cough? No, it's ADHD, all right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, normally when you cough and you don't have ADHD, it doesn't flare up so much. But yours started, like, bouncing all over the place. Do you have to cough for a prostate exam? No, that's, like, the, the thing from, like your dad's like generation like your granddad's generation of like hold your balls and cough and it does a thing but um yeah, it's just for the movement or something yeah i don't know what it's supposed to test because i don't know how much you can tell it's just it, maybe they just wanted to touch sack <laughs> i think it's like a <coughs> when you <coughs> it's, are you touching your own balls movement. right now <laughs> yeah there's movement <laughs> I asked the doctor once because they're always like turn your head and cough and I was like what does the turning of the head do and he's like it's so you don't cough in my face <laughs> I was like oh I didn't know that <laughs> yeah I thought he was I thought, like, like adding pressure <laughs> yeah no he's like yeah no it's just so you don't cough in my face <laughs> I was like oh that makes sense <laughs> oh that's funny um, so but no, I went and did, I had to get like blood work done and an EKG done because ADHD meds are stimulants. So they were like, unless if you have heart problems, you can't take these. And I'd yeah. never gotten those done or I got blood done before, but not an EKG. So I was like, I'll just get a full physical done. And then I went in and he did the whole, like, feel your balls. Okay. No lumps. Feel your prostate. Okay. No lumps. I'm getting yeah. up there. I'm pe I'm putting the years on. Twist your nipples. See if they flick them. See, <laughs> no see how, lumps. Like, they get hard. <laughs> I did get a lump in my left nipple one time. I, I haven't talked about this, but it was, I, okay, there's like, there, there's the conspiracy theory side of it, and there's the, I don't know what actually happened side of it. But I started getting like this soreness, like a tenderness under my left nipple, and I was like, oh, that's weird. And then as like the weeks went on, it started to like form a lump. And I was like, ooh, that's scary. And I, I could like feel it. It was like a little hard, like marble under there. And I was like, what yeah. the fuck is happening? And I went to my doctor and he was like, I don't know what that is, but we'll go get you. I had to go get an ultrasound on it and get like my lymph nodes and everything checked in my armpits. And they were like, yeah, you have this thing. And apparently it's like an increase in estrogen where I was actually growing a little titty. And I, I was looking it up and I was like, I have no idea where more estrogen was coming in in my diet other than the fact that I changed to soy milk. And I was drinking <laughs> soy milk for everything. And I was I looked it up and I was like, there is like trace amounts of like estrogen in soy milk. But I was like, yeah. but my doctor was like, no, it's negligible. Like, that's just like an urban legend, like soy boy kind of <laughs> mean Little shit. Little does he know you're just pounding <laughs> just gallons of, soy of it. Milk. But I stopped <laughs> drinking soy milk. And the lump went away. 
And I was like, did I literally start growing tits because I was drinking too much soy milk? Was I becoming soy boy? That's so funny. I was like, I thought that was just a meme people said. I didn't know there was any like truth to anything that people were talking about, like estrogen and soy milk. That's so funny. Um, But yeah, it might have been something completely different, but that was the only thing I could track that changed in my diet. The irony, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what an ironic situation. <laughs> oh, that was so weird, though. But I, I was getting worried. I was like, is that what a cancer lump feels like? I don't know. Yeah, everybody at home, make sure you're checking yourself for lumps. It's very important. Yeah. Check very your important. titties, See check what... your balls, check your... I mean, you can check your butthole well, it... if you want, but I don't know if you know what you're looking for. Yeah, it depends on who you are, I guess. Yeah, it depends on what really? you got up there. If you got a prostate get a, or not. Get everything all checked out, you know? It's, it's very important. Very, yeah. very important. I've had everything done. I did the colonoscopy for other stuff. I've had the only thing I haven't had is a tube down my throat to like check anything. Ugh, that's Which, awful. Yeah, I because I had like really strong acid reflux for a while and I had like intestinal issues. So they were like, well, we went in one end. There's only another end we can go in to check for stuff there. There's only one more end. Have um, you ever had a catheter? That no! sounds awful. No, why would I need a catheter? I don't know. You said I've had almost everything done. Catheters are for like people in comas. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. No, no I haven't can. had one. I don't want one. The book I'm reading right now, one. the guy woke up with a catheter and he like rolled off the bed and it came out. Uh. I, <laughs> I was like, I don't want to think about it. I was like, <laughs> no. my dick has never felt smaller than this moment. I don't want it went that. back inside. I don't want it. I don't I want think it. I think. There are people out there that don't know enough about penises to know that how how much a change in shape they can get based on the seasons. <laughs> like, <laughs> have you ever been outside exposed where it's been so cold that it basically turns to nothing? It like goes yeah. inside your body. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I never realized that people didn't know that, that that's what it does. There's really a wide range. There's yeah. a wide range. Sometimes of... you get out of the shower and it's like, damn, where have I been hiding that? <laughs> and sometimes you're out in the snow and it's like, I don't want anybody ever to see me like this. I have clothes you on and it's still missing. And it's like, damn, where have I been hiding that? And then you're in the cold and you're like, that's where I've been hiding that. <laughs> My micro penis. <laughs> Tiny little, <guy. laughs> little raisinette. <laughs> it's like it's like a regular penis is a grape, and then cold weather mm -hmm. is raisins. Yeah. It's like how did that grape turn into that? I saw a TikTok the other day where it was like, uh, it was like, who told my girlfriend that you can twist your dick 360? <laughs> who, who spread our secrets? <laughs> Or the the thumb and finger pinch roll scratch <laughs> on your balls because you can't scratch them because they just keep moving. So you gotta like rub it between your fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's probably Every lots of stuff that people with vaginas that they can do stuff. I I heard one that people were saying that you can fart and it can go out the front and in your vagina, and I was like, whoa, that's a what? thing. And they're like, yeah, like if the circumstances are perfect, that can happen. So then you have to like queef it out. What? Yeah. Okay, this one this one's very gross. But I <laughs> This one goes <laughs> after the boys. I, I heard I heard one where someone was constipated, so they just like reached up in their vagina and then like pushed it out. <laughs> wow, the human body's amazing. It's I just incredible. reach up my own asshole and poke it out. <laughs> Come on. Come on out. The little Come finger, on. the little finger plunger. I did. <laughs> I got constipated when I was seven years old once. I know, it, me, the guy who shits himself at all I possible know. scenarios. I couldn't shit, and I didn't know what was going on. And I didn't poop for like three days, which for me back then was impossible. Like I was in pain. And then the time it happened, I, I shit you not, it <laughs> was, it was like. My asshole was Mike Tyson's fist. I just punched the toilet. <laughs> and it was like, poop, poop. And I I did it, cleanest wipe of all time. I went out and my, my brother and his friends were all hanging out. And I went out and I went, I did it. I pooped. <laughs> like 
arms in the air, all elated. And they were like, what's happening with him? But my brother was like, yay! <laughs> yay, Charlie did it. I did it, I pooped. Uh, and then I've never been constipated since. That was that was the plug. That was the mucus plug. I let <laughs> it out the, and uh, it just never stopped flowing. The Marconium poop. Yeah. <laughs> At seven years poop. old. <laughs> yeah, it stayed in that whole time. My mercury okay. poop. We uh we still have not gotten through an episode without talking about shit and I'm And I don't intend on doing it. No. It's 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 You know, sometimes I feel it. like you don't even want to talk about shit. Babe, what's wrong? You haven't <laughs> talked about shit today. <laughs> Babe, what's wrong? You haven't touched your shit topic. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, talk about poop more. I want to hear about it. Talk like, about we should poop. talk about our poops more. I think I think everyone would be happier and healthier. It's like, we have all these things like, oh, we believe in one thing. We have different skin colors. We have different genitals. We have different orientations. Everybody poops. Everybody poops. There's that book about it. Yeah. It's called like, Everybody There's poops. very little that most of the planet shares in common, but shitting is one of them. Yeah. And not only just amongst people, amongst animals. Yeah, it's the, insects, it's the common fish. denominator. I think that this could be some future politicians campaign thing. Talking about how everybody poops. Everybody poops. <laughs> My fellow <laughs> Americans. Everybody poops. <laughs> that would be so funny to hear Obama do that. <laughs> or Trump just, everybody poops. Everyone. Uh, that Everyone sounds poops. like something he would talk about. Yeah. And this great country, Puerto Rico, everybody poops. Puerto Rico, everybody poops. The except best poops, the biggest poops. Everybody shit on both sides, except China. <laughs> China, China doesn't poop. They, they don't poop have di- poops like ours. They poop differently. That's why they're different. <laughs> it's like it's like him trying to say racist things in what he thinks doesn't sound like racist. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like we all know what you want to say. Just fucking say it instead of dancing wow. around it. They're different. They don't poop. <laughs> they don't poop. Aliens probably poop. The aliens that they found in Mexico. Yeah. They probably poop. They look like poop. <laughs> they do. <laughs> I love that. There's oh my god, the UFO subreddit are so hungry for stuff to come out about like stuff being real. But they believe the dumbest shit. I'm it's like so I'm also one of those people that if real aliens were found, I would be elated. I would love for that to be a realistic thing. But my brain kicks in too often to be like, well obviously that's fake. Mm-hmm. But there's so many clips. That they're looking at being like, why is no one talking about this one? And I'm like, because it's clearly a fly going past the dash cam that records yeah. a two FPS. That's a Ford F-150 just getting off an exit on a highway. <laughs> <laughs> it's not but a UFO. They've been talking about those those Mexican aliens, which <laughs> I don't think they understand how that sounds when they're typing it out. <laughs> I, I saw a TikTok the other day that was like, the aliens, they were actually cake. And it shows them like cutting <laughs> Do it and it's cake. <laughs> but they were looking at it and it was like, they were talking about it for a while and then somebody else posted like, oh, these were debunked in like 2020 and they were shown here. And it was like, the image was just mirrored. And it was like, this was the actual original one that came out and then the one from the Mexican news was just flipped. Uh, but no one wants to, everyone wants aliens to be real so bad that they're like, no, don't talk about that. We just want to have fun. It's like the flat earth stuff. It's like, yeah, we know it's not really flat, but we just want to talk about it. <laughs> we just want to talk about it. We just want to talk about it. But then I saw, I saw the video of them on the news, like holding them up. And I was like, they're like this tall. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, it's did, a I, didn't, tiny guy. I didn't realize they were so small. <laughs> they're so cute. I'm like, has anybody, they like x-rayed them and found like eggs in their belly. I'm like... That's the only thing that's like bright white on this image. It's like a JPEG of an egg that someone gradient filled bucket tool. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like they're just made out of uh, like paper mache. Yeah. It looks like a school project. Plus, it's like if you ever find aliens and they're trying to like all the people on this subreddit should know that if the alien is revealed and it looks like what you think an alien looks like from a movie, then it's not an alien. Yeah, it's like. That 
whole thing was really funny to see where it's like, oh, it's exactly like Hollywood says. They yeah, look like it's like, like Roswell. Yeah, he looks like he has E.T.'s head. It's like, because you're not creative. You just saw aliens and they were like, I'm going to make an alien and then make everyone believe it. I want to I want to see the book I'm reading. It's called Project Hail Mary. It's by Andy Weir. It's the guy who did The Martian. Why didn't we storm um, Area 51? We had so many people saying that we were going to do it. We could have taken them by force. Because we didn't want to. I see, that's the thing. I think deep down, we don't want to find out that there's nothing in there. We don't want to mm. find out that it actually is just a place where they like, like try out the stealth bomber for like 10 it's years just a before. Target. Yeah, it's just like, it's <laughs> fun. Starbucks in there. <laughs> it's fun to think about there's aliens in it, but it's like, no, it's actually just a new jet propellant that we're working on that we can't let other countries figure out about. But yeah, the book I'm reading has aliens that are like spores or just like a parasite kind of thing. And like, I'm not far enough into the book yet to figure out what it is, but they're just like a black mass going to the sun and making it darker. And I'm like, that's cool. They don't have to be human. They don't need legs and arms. Yeah, they don't need to be humanoids. You can just be blobby. I think people want them to be humanoids so they can fuck them. Yeah. Yeah, you can't fuck the aliens from Arrival. They're just smoke things. Oh, you could fuck them. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> they have tentacles and they're slimy. Oh, you they can do. fuck that. That's true. Not only that, but they put their hand out and they show they have like five tentacles that they can separate. They could fuck five people at once. That's true. That is true. But can you fuck them? If you have a vagina, you can. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I, yeah, I, I'm, I, could, I could figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> give me, a, give me a whiteboard and a marker. I could figure it out. I could work this problem. <laughs> it's like a bunch of scientists <laughs> in a room, and it's just like we have our uh, our specialist coming in on this. Uh, Sean McLaughlin, please come in. Uh, he's going to figure out how to fuck these aliens. <laughs> yeah. No, I I want to see that <laughs> sketch. Twenty four hours. I want to see that sketch, but it's from like the arrival standpoint where Amy Adams is brought in. So it's yep. like aliens have been found. You see that like <laughs> like scene, and then she comes in and it's like it's your job to figure out how to fuck them. <laughs> Forrest Whitaker's just there, and he's like, they've landed, and none of us have figured out how to fuck them yet. <laughs> it's like, what? I'm a language expert. It's like, yeah, we thought you'd be able to like flirt with them. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like your everyone's riz levels are off the charts. Everyone's can do it. super you serious can. and you're brought in and it's just like <laughs> everyone's looking at a whiteboard and it's like, yeah, so um, carbon based, eh? How do we fuck them? <laughs> and then it's just in the background like, what? Why am I here? I don't want to fuck the alien. But everyone's just so serious for the whole rest of it. You have to do this for the good of mankind. We yeah. have to figure the out. The aliens came down alien. with one message. <laughs> it's just a crude drawing of like cock and balls. <laughs> they came down with one message and it's just you up. <laughs> <laughs> what that mouth do? <laughs> <laughs> Did you come out and it just says ASL? <laughs> oh God. Oh, boy. I that should exist in some format. Should. We people don't. Make it. People don't make enough funny alien movies, mm -hmm. except the the movie Paul, which I tried watching, and I was like, it's not as funny as I remember it. I, I like I like that, Simon though. Pegg and Nick Frost, and Seth Rogen is the alien, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it has like um, Jason Bateman is in it. Is he? Yes. And it's like a, I think Bill Hader's in it, um, and like a bunch of really good actors that I like, but it's like. They walk into a bar and then like, the other guy sees two guys together who are nerds and starts calling them like slurs and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that's not it doesn't fun. age super well. Not really. No, it, it wasn't even like that funny then because it's like, yeah, that's like humor from the 90s where you just called everything gay. And it's like, yeah. we don't do that anymore. We've learned. We've learned. Uh, some awesome. of us have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, let us know if you uh, find any aliens in your backyard, um, and let us. Know I have a whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> I have a whiteboard and so many colors of markers. <laughs> I could make quite a pretty picture. I, I wanna, you should do that for a for a coffee ad of like <laughs> like the 
uh, it's always sunny when he's like trying to figure out who, uh, what's the name of the character? Carmen uh, San Diego or no, when he's like trying to figure out, fuck, I can't, what is I, the name? I can't remember the name, but it's when Charlie Day is like I'm going crazy. About. Yeah. 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 You should do that, but with coffee. Yeah. Trying to figure out how coffee's made. It's perfect. It's pooped. Someone eats a coffee leaf and then they poop out the beans. And that's how we come full circle. Everybody. I'm working on a medium roast. It's cooking on a low heat all day. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that I, that term for like taking a shit of cooking it on a low heat all day is my favorite. <laughs> Your body is just a crock pot. That's yeah. all it is. <laughs> yeah, it's a slow it one. Slow cooker. Pressure cooker. Yep. Yeah. That's how it works. Anyway, let us know if you've leaked today and where yes. from. Please. And if it's uh, from your brain, your eyes, your ears, let us know. Or your ass. Ooh, fun. But anyway, thank you all so much for listening. Hope you're having a wonderful week. And uh, hope you're having a wonderful leak. <laughs> drip, drip, everyone. Stay bye leaky. bye. Bye bye. <laughs>